Hi everybody, I got a story called Next Please. Can you tell what job they have? Let's see. Next please. Dr. Hopper works in a toy hospital. It's her job to make sick toys better. Hello. It's Dr. Hopper. You see what he's using? A stethoscope. Helping her is Nurse Rex Baker. Hello. That's the nurse. Doctors usually work with nurses. Who is in the waiting room today, Rex? Dr. Hopper asks. So doctor, the nurse shows today's patients. One-eyed Ted, woolly sheep, wonder horse, sniffer the dog, and sawdust cat. Those are the patients. Those are the ones who are going to come see the doctor today. Rex calls in a patient every time Dr. Hopper shouts, Next, please. One-eyed Ted first, Rex. So here he comes. One-eyed Ted's eye has come off. Do you see the eye has come off? There's one-eyed Ted, another other eye has come off. Any chance you can help, Doc? That's what one-eyed Ted needs help with. So Dr. Hopper asks Rex, to fetch the special tin. Hmm, let me see. Inside the tin, he sees all these different things. He's looking, hmm, let me see. Aha, he found something. Dr. Hopper finds two new eyes and puts them on. So now Bear has two eyes. I-F-Y-O-U-C-A-N. That's marvelous, doctor. Thank you. Now he will be called Two-Eyed Ted. Dr. Hopper shouts, next please. You see he was looking at the eye chart and he was able to read the letters. Just like when you go to the doctor, you might look at the eye chart. Now it's Wooly Sheep. She is becoming unstitched. And she's saying, help. The wool is coming off. Dr. Hopper undoes the knots and Rex gets stitching. So the nurse is actually going to do some snitching over here. Clickety click, clackety clack. So they're stitching up some things. Well done, Rex. Wooly sheep is as good as new. No, even better. So look what they did. They put on some new wool for the wooly sheep. Because remember, she's like a toy. So she's kind of stitching it up. Rex has found the wool from somewhere to give Wooly Sheep a surprise. It has a whole new bottom. Next, please. By the way, Rex, have you seen my scarf anywhere? Oh, I think the nurse used the scarf to build the Wooly Sheep. Now comes Wonder Horse, and one of Wonder Horse's wheels has fallen off. You see, this toy is missing a wheel. Children cannot ride him if he doesn't roll along. Needs the doctor's help. Rex holds Wonder Horse while Dr. Hopper fixes the wheel back on with something secret from the special tin. He's going to use some, it looks like he's using a tool like a wrench to get the wheel to get back on. Wonder Horse is very pleased. He rolls as fast as when he was new. Oh, so now the horse is all working now. So the doctor says, Next, please. The next patient is Sniffer the dog. Sniffer doesn't have a nose. How does he smell? That's terrible, says the nurse. He's missing his nose. So Dr. Hopper sticks Sniffer's nose back on. See that little piece? He has to stick it back on. Oops, wait a minute. Is that where his nose goes? Oh, that's better. They put it on the right spot. Then Dr. Hopper shouts, Next, please. Last on the list is Sawdust Cat. She has bald patches from being loved and cuddled so much, and she's lost her smile. Oh no. Say ah, doctor says. And look, the doctor's using his stethoscope to check him. Ah, says the cat. But there's nothing Hopper can do. Oh no. But Rex thinks of something to tell Sawdust Cat to make her feel better. 
Toys like you are the lucky ones. Toys that are not loved and cuddled are the saddest toys of all. But remember, the cat has been cuddled a lot. So Sato's cat thinks about this for a while and then smiles. Dr. Hopper shouts, next please. The cat's smile came back. So she realized just because she's worn out, that means she's loved. But there's no one left in the waiting room now. Dr. Hopper and Rex sit down and have a cup of tea and a cookie. They think about tomorrow and who will be next. Ah, I hope you liked our doctor story. Next, please. See you next time.